Ingrid Grimm says, nine-year-old Michaela Nash wrecked her twin daughter's pocket bike while riding it at their birthday party. Michaela's great-grandmother, Amy Bynum, says Ingrid allowed Michaela to ride the bike without her consent. Michaela, I want you to stand up next to your grandma, okay? How did you know that Michaela had damaged the bike? Did somebody come and say Michaela fell off the bike? Yes. It was about five children that had come and told us that. Who did they come and tell? They told both me and Rodney. So that what you're telling me, Ms. Grimm, is that neither you nor Rodney were watching Michaela. Is that correct? Yes, we were. You weren't. Because you just said to me, five children came and told me that Michaela had had an accident on the bike. And I said, who did they come and tell? And you said they came and told me and my boyfriend, which suggests to me that neither you nor your boyfriend was supervising the child when she was on the bike. Right? OK, you can say that, yes. You see, you don't have to say anything yet. <laughs> You're going to tell me what happened to the bike, Michaela, very fast. Tell me what happened to the bike. I ran into the curb and then the bike and the tire wouldn't move. Were you driving someplace where you weren't supposed to be driving? No. You were driving up the block? Mm hmm Had other children driven to the same location? They drove a little farther. Really? And who was watching you when you were driving? Uh, Rodney. Rodney. Where was he? He was at the house. Was he there when the other children were riding further than you rode? Yes. Were you hurt? No. Miss Grimm. I'm going to ask you a couple of more questions. Okay. Then I'm going to end this torture. <laughs> Let us say, Michaela, who is driving a motorized bike in the street, the law permits you to do that? Yes. How fast do they go? Anywhere from 15 to 20 miles, I think. 15 to 20 miles an hour? Yes. How old are you, Michaela? Nine. Ms. Grimm. Let us assume that, heaven forbid, Michaela had an accident on this bike and was injured. Do you think you would be liable for her injuries? Yes. Why? Well, because she was at my party that I was supervising. Correct. Mm -hmm. So why in the world would you think that her grandmother is responsible for the damage to the bike? Because she did not follow the rules and she went further than where she was supposed to. That was your responsibility to make sure that she didn't, not her grandmother's. When you invite children to your home to a birthday party, you become an insurer of their well-being. It is your responsibility to supervise them all the time that they're there. And if you elect to allow them to ride on a vehicle that can go 15 to 20 miles an hour, if there's an accident, you are 100% responsible. Ms. Bynum, is anything said to you about your granddaughter riding a motorized bike? No. I would not have left her at the party if it was. And anyway, Ms. Grimm, you are an insurer of the minor children left in your care and custody when you invite children to a birthday party. If they damage something in your home, it's your fault. If they hurt themselves when they damage something in your home, it's your fault. So you can't invite more children to a party than you're prepared to supervise properly. And I certainly would exercise better judgment than allowing a nine-year-old child to get on a motorized bike that's capable of going 20 miles an hour. Case is dismissed.